Hi, I'm Beth Ferreira. I work at First More Capital. Um, when I raised my first dollar was when I entered the venture industry in 2015. I partnered with a large uh, corporate VC who anchored our fund, um, and uh, it was $25 million. And we went out and raised the rest of it from mostly family offices. So I chose the path of venture. I had worked in venture early in my career and got to see what the job was all about and then spent almost a decade as an operator. So worked on the other side of the equation for, for many years. And um, after my second stint as COO, I uh, made the decision that I was ready to come back and um, wanted to work with more entrepreneurs, uh, apply the some of the learning, some of the you know, the that pattern recognition that I saw inside a company. You hear a lot about venture capitalists talking about venture um, pattern recognitions outside the companies. So things that worked and what didn't work, and I was you know excited to get back to the venture side. So um, I grew up in Central Connecticut. Um, I my parents were immigrants from Portugal, and um, I got the opportunity to go to Penn, which um, first person in my family to go to college. Um, came out, and when I was at Penn, I was like, I want to do something in business. Had no idea what that really meant. A bunch of people around were applying to investment banks. I was like, that sounds like business. Um, apply, you know, applied, got a job, spent three years there, and when. The last, one of the last deals I worked on while I was there <clears throat> was a, a company in St. Louis, Missouri that was an ISP, sort of exciting, growing with a um, management team that was you know, really dedicated to building a business. And I was like, wait a minute, like, I don't want to work with all these other companies. I had been working at, with these like large industrial companies and companies that were sort of on their last leg and needing sort of like desperate cap capital. I was like, this is the kind of company I want to work in. And that was sort of the pivot to sort of working in the early stage tech and venture world. And I sent, um, I, I came back to New York, I scoured the whole universe for early stage companies. <clears throat> and in my web search, this was in 1998, I found a venture capital fund called Flatiron Partners, sent them a blind cover letter, which people tell you never to do, and I was very fortunate that one of the partners there responded and um, actually took a meeting with me, and so over a course of six months got to know them, they hired me as their first associate, and had a front row seat to the dot-com boom and bust, so um, we, we invested in a lot of notorious companies like Cosmo, but also great companies like um, Comscore and others that you know we're all using today, Mercado Libre and things like that. Um, post the crash, um, I decided to go to business school. While I was there, decided I wanted to get a taste of the operating side. Um, that's when I, you know, post business school entered Etsy. So I was the 12th employee at Etsy, scaled Etsy, um, did it over again at Fab.com. Uh, joined as the 40th um, employee there, also scaled that business, and then you know ultimately went back to venture in 2015. So some of the challenges I've, I've faced is, um, in some ways, has been also a blessing. It's many, uh, in, in many situations, I've been underestimated. So whether it was, you know, before I went to college, you know, at my first job, you know, you know, entering the tech world. Um, but it also sort of raises the bar on how you act, how do you prepare, how you, you know, conduct yourself. So I think, in many ways, it's been a blessing. So my mantra in life is to make today better than yesterday, or tomorrow better than today. Um, and that was a very um, poignant uh, way to think about the early stage world because there's so much um, chaos and change. And you know, if there's one thing that you can do today 
that makes tomorrow better or prepare you for something that's happening in the future and also make, making sure that today is better than yesterday is basically the only thing that we can do in particularly in the early stage world. But now on the, on the venture side, it's all about how do we coach um, and be a partner to our companies in order to do that. So, you know, it may not be all up and to the right, but hopefully each day you're doing something. So I think the biggest thing around venture, it's been, you know, there's a lot being written about that it's been, you know, particularly homogenous. Um, and, you know, while our numbers are still not great, you know, what's been really great, particularly in the last couple of years, is that there's an actual conversation about it. So we're starting to see some movement more, you know, people of all, you know, people who are different in any, any sort of sense, whether it's, you know, race, ethnicity, you know, gender, um, be hired and be considered. And also, you know, a real emphasis around opening that funnel to get more talent into the door. Um, so being an operator has influenced my, my second round as a VC, um, primarily giving me empathy. So I, I have a better understanding about what it really feels like to be in the founder's shoes. So whether it's understanding what it's like to run out of money or, you know, maybe not making payroll to um, being on the other side to actually pitching a VC and what that's like and going through diligence and you know that piece. Um, also have you know been in a spot where many times have had to let go of people and sort of the peop you know what happens within the company, what happens with with those company, you know, with that individual. So all of that sort of real tactical pieces, you know, but at the end of the day, while it may inform some things around um, market sizing or um, what's possible and what's not possible. The, um, you know, it doesn't necessarily make me a better picker. I'm here for the long haul. So hopefully finding the next big, um, big deal, big company. Who am I? Um, I am intellectually curious, always trying to sort of learn more. Um, ultimately, I've become a mentor, coach, parent. Um, so, I guess a combination of those two things.